You may remember our next guest. She is an award-winning author of more than 20 children's books. One of her most recent books, Super Gear, Nanotechnology, and Sports Team Up, is especially relevant right now as the final preparations for the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio are underway. The games are just eight days out, and while you're gearing up for the 260 hours of competition being broadcast right here on NBC12, one aspect of the games you've probably never thought about is the role science plays in the games. Well, joining us to explain, we welcome author and STEM advocate Jennifer Swanson. You always make us feel so smart when you come. Yay! Yay. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the role of technology being used maybe to prep athletes and then also during the Olympic Games. Um, it's really funny. It's not something you normally think about, but when they show up, they have the best equipment, the best tools that they can give because this is the biggest stage in the world for sports. Okay, I do think about this, so, and I want to know what it is. Tell us. Well, first of all, um, a lot of the companies will spend hundreds of millions wow. of dollars creating these amazing suits for these um, athletes to wear, the swimsuits, which we'll show you the picture, um, of the the way that, that they can um, decrease drag, which is the force, the, talk about science, this is the force that pulls you back as you go through the water. Uh -huh. um, you and they've been the around a while though, because I remember right. these swimsuits a couple years ago. Well, you've got to be careful that you're not cheating in well, all of this that's, too. Well, that's kind of the question. So um, a lot of these suits help them swim faster, um, and some of them do it by like pushing your body, you know, into like, it's kind of like spikes of for swimming, <laughs> yes. you know? So it makes your body streamlined, which is like this, this picture here with Missy Franklin, wow. as you can see, she looks very streamlined. We we're just talking about how athletes look. I think she's amazing looking. Mm -hmm. And then when you put her in the suit, not only does it look, make her look amazing, but those, see those, um, seams kind of on the side, yeah. those, those are supposed to mimic your core muscles and help them work more efficiently. Wait, wow. how would they actually that, this help is, you? This, this is, is what, what they're, they're saying. saying. This is what they're saying. How this much brand time new technology. are we talking? That I want it, one of those. I mean, I guess even a, a <laughs> right? millisecond or something could we're, make we're a difference. We're talking hundredths of seconds. But so we're talking when you world add record all that up, when material. you're talking about a world record, you can win by a hundredth of a second. Right. So, but they spend hundreds of millions of dollars creating these suits. Why? Because they figure that if their um, athlete wins, it's then all about you the are going to spend $100 all about the dollars Look at the to go and buy the same swimsuit. Oh, trust Whereas me. maybe you only spend 150 but now it's like, ooh, it's Missy Franklin's swimsuit. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mom, that one's 400 Can I have that? Sure. And they look pretty cool, too. I mean, these I are pretty will be faster. This is the, what is this, the U.S. men's swim this team? This is the U.S. men's swim team. Okay. And, and they have the, the curves, too, but, of course, it's just for the hips I'll and the size. I'll just see a six-pack, girl. Yeah. Yeah, what did, oh, baby, well, yes. oh, bathing suits. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, okay, so what is the deal? with their so they're the Theirs, same thing it's the hers. same thing only it goes down across their, their thighs. thigh muscles mm -hmm. so it, it mimics so it their, makes thigh their thighs muscles. work more so <laughs> yes it makes them work more efficiently and hopefully not build up as much lactic acid which is you know makes your legs tired and whatever okay all right let's see so. the next one so they do the same thing for the runners this except the runners this is nike yes um except for the runners you can see they have these little bumps that they've put on yes. their legs down there yeah. and on the next picture they have it she has it on her arms and what they are is they're little tiny pieces of rubber that are shaped like blades okay. to make the air wind. flow yes to to reduce wind resistance <laughs> and make you fly faster is that why it's air. called nike vapor yes i'm Might so be. smart very good i can't take very myself you can I gotta be on tell the marketing you. team there hey, my go. son adam I'm would exactly. be so all about this gear yes. so all about and, it and it's and I really it's, am faster mom and they use actual wind tunnels to test this stuff like wow. they use it at nasa you know, you're supposed to use them for planes, but no, they use them for these swimsuits and for these That's running really suits. really cool, actually. It's amazing. It I is mean, amazing. It's science in action. What did mm -hmm. I say? We like science in action. Yes. So speaking Stem. of amazing, Serena Williams. Oh, she's awesome. Yeah, and there's a picture of her. Um, they oh, actually does. use um, a lot of her technology on her new rackets. Okay. So all of those rackets are made. Look at the muscle in her Look arms. at her. Sick. Isn't she awesome? She's Tell awesome. me that she really doesn't hit that hard. It's all the racket. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that. She could use a, tennis, a wooden no. tennis racket and, and, and we wouldn't be able to touch it. The, this technology is supposed to enhance right. what the athletes have already done. They're so already in the top shape. I won't be able to hit as hard as Serena even if I have that racket. But, yes, but Wilson wants you to believe that. <laughs> 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 
dollars <laughs> on her racket. Because now, the truth of the matter is you're supposed to be the best you can be. Well, so yes. their technology but will make you much better. Her racket, which costs, you know, $500. So <laughs> let's talk about advantage and disadvantage in this. Because if you're a top-notch athlete, these, these companies want you to wear their stuff. Yep. If you are an unknown athlete, and that's the beauty of the Olympics, is that you can compete along with the big sure. names and nobody could know who you are. And you're supposed to be on a level playing field, all things being equal. But somebody's got a Nike running suit, and I don't. And somebody's got a makeup artist. You know? Yeah. So, and then <laughs> you're going to be makeup artist. Hey. And, and some of the, you know, some of the underdeveloped countries are poor countries. So right. we, got, we got one athlete. Are they allowed to wear it. the socks? You know, they are right now. So what's been happening is, is they'll use the technology, and then if they see that it affects the the of scores course. too much, like what happened in the 2008 Olympics, where they wore those full body swimsuits, and then they won or they broke like 150 records or something like that, then they said, no, 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 you can't use that. So they're but allowed then by to that use. time it's too late, right? Very good. Good point. Oh. But right now so they they're apologize kind of, after. They the technology is moving so fast that it's very difficult for the governing bodies to keep up with it. Mm -hmm. And they don't showcase it until the Olympics. Genius. Right. So they Especially don't have to go the United through, States. They don't have to go through any vetting process. They don't have it, to It depends for certain sports. Now, swimming FINA has they have crack down, which is why you can only wear, the men can only wear suits from the waist to the knees, and the women can only wear that. And they have, I'm okay and, with that. And yeah. they have, <laughs> yeah, and they have um, said that they cannot use a polyurethane, which is what those first suits were made out of. Mm -hmm. So um, they have added things. But as far as running, right now, they're just so ahead of it all. They're so ahead of it all, they're going to have to see. Now, that's where it might be this, awesome to be an American. But sometimes the with technology, the technology, yeah. But sometimes it doesn't work. Ah, remember but, the but speed skaters. But do you think it's going to make them slower? Well, well, what happened with, with the, the speed, speed skaters? skaters? Remind me what happened the, in 2012 Olympics. Um, Under Armour spent hundreds of millions of dollars to create these speed skating suits, and the U.S. team was supposed to come out and win. And, that, and then they all wore them, and nobody oh, placed. Do you remember that? It was I actually a huge do remember. Huge thing. But can't so, it work as a placebo, too, where well, in your mind, yes. you're thinking... And that's what they kind of went back and forth mm. with. They're like, well, it wasn't the suits. It was the way you trained. Uh -huh, and, yeah, you know, yeah. so everybody was pointing fingers. Of course. Well, Jen, we just fault. love your enthusiasm. You get us all <laughs> excited about science. And hold your book up uh, real quick, because uh, if you would like some more information about her books, including Super Gear, which has even more information about sports technology, visit JenniferSwansonBooks.com. Thank you so thank much you for, for coming Thank you for having on. me.